Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are at a local market that's not far from our house. We're here for dinner and we wanted to see what we can get with 300 baht. 300 baht is roughly $10 US. I can already smell all the fried noodles and also the grilled meat. So I'm hungry, let's go. to the one entrance over there so this is new because usually we can just walk in from anywhere but then today they have like a designated entrance that's just over there so they can take your temperature make sure you have a mask on and give you some sanitizer Good, let's try it. I ordered two chicken skewers. It smells really good. You can smell like like the sweet and sour sauce and then there's also like pineapple. You can smell the grilled pineapple. This is gonna cost us 30 baht for two. Okay, this is a maybe because it's 50 baht. <laughs> because it's 50 baht, we'll think about it. We'll come back. Do you want to try the northern nunchik? Yeah, we can get the northern one. Okay. Just a small one, right? This one is Namprik Namprik Noom, right? Namprik Noom. Oh, 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 Namprik Noom. Okay, 20 baht down. Let's go. I want some noodles, so let's get some noodles here. We have different types of stir fried noodles here. They have pad thai noodles. They have this one is like an egg noodle, like bunny noodle. Also mama noodle, which is like an instant noodle. And also the thin rice noodles called pot mi. I'm actually feeling like pot mi, which is like these ones, the thin noodles. Okay. Pot mi. Okay. Pot mi. Pot mi. Pot mi. So this fried chicken place, the pieces are only 10 baht each, which is super affordable for us today. And they have a spicy fried chicken, they have also just a normal fried chicken, and I think they also have one that you can put like the Korean spicy sauce in as well, but let's just try, let's try some of them. Ah. The saran wrap over here is to be a barrier, so this is all like COVID, COVID protocols here. Before, you can actually use the tongs and you can pick the pieces by yourself, but then now you have to ask them to pick it. I guess that is safer though, so it's good. We already spent 120 baht, we have 180 baht left, but we have fried chicken, chicken skewers, um, some stir fry noodles and we also have some chili dip already so I think we still need some vegetables maybe some rice some dessert maybe a drink so we'll see what we can get with the rest of this you guys want to 
want to see us eat some silkworms? They're really cheap. Oh. <laughs> you get to try. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I didn't want to try it. <laughs> have. What does it smell like? It doesn't smell like anything. Enjoy! It's actually my first time eating these because I usually prefer to eat something else. It's actually doesn't taste bad, it just tastes like something fried, but it's soft. I don't know if I like it, but it almost tastes like fried potato. <laughs> but yeah. Let's so are we some, getting a bag? Let's get something to drink. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this fresh squeezed Thai orange juice. And it's like the green orange that they grow in Thailand. And they usually put a pinch of salt in there so they balance the sweet and the salty and it's it's really delicious. So we're gonna get one of those. Nia, yeah, clean my mouth. <laughs> this one was 20 baht. Oh. It's so sweet. It's like tangerine juice. But no added sugar, no preservatives, it's super fresh. And there is a little bit of salt in it, which makes it even sweeter. Super good. So I just saw this truck back here. It's a drink truck. So I'm going to get a chai yen, which is a Thai milk tea. I'm going to give the rest of this orange juice to note instead. Here you go. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of tea. That's a lot of tea. <sighs> Thai tea is so good. It's like so creamy. The tea flavor is so strong. They put condensed milk, evaporated milk, the strong like black tea. Probably sugar too, like different types of sugars basically. Mm. I can actually finish this whole bag. We bump to our friend from the massage place. <laughs> we always go to the massage place that's not far from here as well. So this is a local market we like to come to. Chai is what it's called and I believe it's uh, chives, like chive dumplings. In Chinese it's gao chai, so I think it's the same thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna get some because I really like them. We have only 90 baht left. Gotta spend it wisely. You want some sushi? It's 10 baht a piece. Should we get any? Okay. What do you think? Sure. You can get two, the two, the bottle, two beef or two. You can get three. We got two beefs and one salmon. So this one is a stir fried minced chicken with holy basil and chili. This is quite a popular Thai dish. You'd see it in a lot of places in North America as well, but they make it quite a lot spicier when we're in Thailand. We have 20 baht left, and this is going to go to my favorite dessert. So let's go get that. This is it. This is one of my favorite stalls because they sell this crispy pancake that's filled with meringue and topped with like either a sweet topping or a savory topping but it's one of like the yummiest desserts ever so I'm gonna get some with the last 20 baht I have left. Okay. 
20บาทค่ะเอารวมไหมคะรวมค่ะ So I'm getting 20 baht. Um, I believe there's six pieces, and she asked if I wanted mixed, sweet, and savory, so I said yes. And we have spent all our money. Okay, I see a table. Let's get that table. two at the market. So we have a couple pieces of sushi, we have some fried chicken, we have some spicy chili dip, we have a dessert, coconut milk with bananas inside and sticky rice. We have some dumplings, chive dumplings, stir-fried vermicelli noodles. This is a spicy chicken mince with a holy basil with a fried egg and rice, some chicken skewers, Thai tea and mini crepes for dessert. Okay, I don't know where to start. Sushi. Eat the sushi. Okay. The blowtorch beef sushi. <laughs> Wait, I'll eat that one too. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That ten baht sushi is actually very delicious. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, the chicken skewer. <laughs> Okay. Mm. So good. So saucy. Saucy. Pat mi is very similar to pad thai. It's just a different type of noodles they use. So pad thai, they have pad thai noodles, which are thicker rice noodles. And with pat mi, they use this type of thinner vermicelli noodles. And I quite like pot meat because these noodles absorb more flavor and yeah, they're one of my favorites actually. I almost forgot about this one. Usually you eat this with sticky rice, but we're gonna put some on top of this today. Mm. It's like super smoky. Hard to cook. Spicy fried chicken. These I'm... guys are 10 baht each. Mm. This one is the original. Mm. Mm, yeah. It's not oily at all. It's like it almost feels like healthy fried chicken. Is it spicy? Mm. Oh my god, this is like a burst of flavor in your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Let me have some of this. This is the grapao guy. We think this is gonna be really spicy because. I see a lot of red in there, and that's all chili, so good luck to me. Some of the pork and the basil and chili. It's super satisfying. You got the perfect bite. This is actually quite spicy. Ooh. This is how uh, Thai open this. Yeah, got it this time. Okay, this is the gui chai. Gui chai is the chai dumplings. This is basically our veggies for the meal. Look at that. Mm. I love chai. The outside is like chewy skin, so it's quite a nice balance. I love chewy food. Oh, yeah, go away! Plus, they steam them so they're not oily at all. And there's a lot of veggies in each piece. The flies are going crazy. I gotta use that lady's method. Fly, fly, fly. I got it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, these are like my favorite. So good. This is one of the best places to get it too because their crispy pancake is so thin. It's like, oh, there's one more. See, how do I open this one? Oh, there's two pieces, one for each of us. Damn. It's 
gonna be chewy and sticky and sweet. It's sticky rice with coconut milk and there's a couple beans and also half a banana inside. What do you call this one? Kautomat. Kautomat. The banana isn't actually mushy, so they probably use like a less ripe banana or unripe banana. Oh, it's not mushy inside, so it's nice. How do I make? Oh, I'm not Before we wrap up this episode, I want to give you a last Chayan update. So, this is how much I have left. Mmm, <laughs> I can actually finish this whole bag. <laughs> Pretty good, right? I made some progress. So there are so many other foods that we want to try at this market but we're pretty happy with our choices today for our 300 baht challenge. We'll probably come back another time and we'll get some of the other things that I saw like sticky rice or pop on rice. Like there's still so many things. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. So good. <laughs> so good. So good. So good.